Hello, welcome to this Lead Pages tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Lead Pages to create an opt in page and a thank you page, and then how to link that thank you page to your opt in page inside of Lead Pages. There's a couple different steps, but it's really, really simple once you get the hold of it, so let's begin. So, first of all, I'm just going to assume that you already have a opt in page created and a thank you page created, and all you need to do now is just to link them together. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. And how I personally use lead pages is I use an integration with Aweber. So if you have a different email um, service that you're using, I'm personally not sure with how to do that. But in this tutorial, you'll learn how to link your lead pages pages together <laughs> by integrating them with Aweber. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this video. So first of all, I just want to show you around here a little bit. We're in this lead pages opt-in page, and what you're going to be doing first of all, is we're going to be working with this area right here, which is opt-in form integration. Now, you should already have your lead pages when you signed up integrated with your email autoresponder. Again, we're going with Aweber in this lead pages tutorial. So you should already have your, lead, your Aweber connected. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your thank you page. You are going to save and then you're going to publish. So if you're taking notes, that's the first step. is to save and publish your thank you page, and then what you want to do is copy this link here. So I, I control seed that, so that's copied now. And then what you're going to do, if you haven't already, is you're going to go over to Aweber. First thing you need to do, when you create, um, with every new opt-in page that you create, you're going to have to make a new form for each one. You can have multiple opt-in pages going to and being redirected to the same list, but each individual opt-in form has to have its own um, actual sign-up form. So this is how you do that. So in this, let me just scroll down here. I'm just going to start from scratch like you've never done it. So this is how you do it. So you're going to go in. When you log into Aweber, you're going to see like a button right around here. It says Create and Manage List. It's going to take you here to this page. Then what you're going to do is create a list. Assuming that you don't already have a list for uh, whatever campaign you're running. So that's what I'm assuming in this lead pages tutorial anyhow. So create a list. We're just going to name it. Uh, of course. <laughs> About Cool. Okay. Can demo one. And I'm just gonna go through here quickly and just fill all this out. Alright, and you're gonna save the settings. Um, really important step. You're gonna go over here to confirmed opt-in. Get rid of this. This is your personal preference for me personally. I always turn this off. Um, I'm not gonna go into confirmed opt-in, but for me personally, I, I like them just to be automatically put onto my list once they put in their email. Uh, so I always turn that off. If you want it on, leave it on. If you want it off, make sure you do this step. Otherwise, it's going to be on. And then I save it. So this list has been created. So now what we need to do is make a sign-up form. Okay. So what you're going to do is click on sign-up forms. Create your first sign-up form for this list. And guys, it seems like a lot of steps at first, but trust me, once you've done it, you're going to just like speed through it once it's already done, once you already know how to do it. So <clears throat> depending on if you want them to enter their name in and their email, you can leave this just like this. And listen, there's tons of fancy stuff in here. Don't even worry about this. This is if you're creating opt-in pages through Aweber, which I don't recommend. Again, we're using lead pages to do our campaigns. These are just forms that we need to set up in order for the emails to go to the correct spot. So here's exactly what I do. I always remove the name because I never have anyone put in their name. It just shortens conversions in my experience. So I'm going to remove that name. I'm going to save the form. And then go to step number two. I'm going to name it. I usually use the same name as my list. And then I put a number with it so I know I can tell which one apart. Now here's where you're going to enter your thank you page. You're going to pick custom page. You're going to paste that URL that we copied earlier 
right inside here. And here's an extra step that I also do is if someone, sometimes people will opt in your, your, your pages that, or they're already on your list, but instead of being sent to a page that already says, oh, oh you're already opted in or something like that, I just put the same URL in there. That way they're sent to the page again. That way they're, they're sent to the offer again or the thank you page again. So this is where you're going to do it. This is where you paste in your thank you page URL so that when they opt in to your lead page's opt-in page, they're sent to your thank you page. That's the whole goal of this tutorial is to show you exactly how to do that. And then what you're going to do is go to step number three. We're, we're going to choose this option here, have Aweber host my form. Boom. You are done. So then what you're going to do next is you're going to come over here. I'm going to plug it in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your email and for your opt-in integration. So we're going to go to the opt-in page first. We're going to reload these forms here because now we just added a new one. So we're going to reload it. Sometimes it takes longer than other times. And I hope that you guys aren't getting overwhelmed with lead pages. As soon as you get this stuff down, you will be able to create funnels like with your eyes closed basically. So it becomes really, really simple. So I'm just going to find that one that I just made. There it is. Click on that and OK. And that's it. And then what you're going to do is in the previous tutorial I taught you how to do a lead magnet. At this point you would add your lead magnet if you have one. If not, what you're going to do is you're just going to name it and then you're going to come over here and save and then publish. So I can always change that. Let's see. So just as an example, I'm going to save it. I'm going to publish it. Now this is the link that you are going to copy. Uh, you can use this link for promotional purposes. I usually recommend going to GoDaddy and buying a domain name. Um, you can find GoDaddy promo codes uh, to buy a domain name in Google for like $1.99 or $2.99. Um, so that makes it really affordable to give your funnels a custom domain name. But that's it. That's exactly how you link your lead pages opt-in page to your thank, th thank you page. I hope this was of help to you guys. If so, please leave me some comments. Share this video with anyone who needs help with lead pages. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that now. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.